Yo, what's up guys? I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek at a little snack I made. It is quite late. It's past 2 p.m. right now. So let me just show you what I whipped up. Literally the last of the last at the point in time. Yeah, I was going to say something about that other song about last stuffs, but you know. Jesus had the Last Supper so that there will never be any Last Suppers for us all. So check this out, eh? So, as you can see here, this is looking like it's a pie. Or looking like it's somewhat of a fat cookie. You know, they actually call those, um, uh, I don't know what you call them in English. I actually have to look that up. Like when you have eggs and flour and sugar and oil... <clears throat> and like maybe some vanilla essence or something but then you have like a lot of honey involved somewhere anyway i was just like at my last mince decided to like make some burger patties but it wasn't really a patty for the second of, second half of it this is the first one and i really like my burger patties crunchy so what i did here is as i was making one i kind of let it break up into two because it was the last two eggs i had and i really just used the first one um well, the first, I put the eggs in a cup, two of them, uh, beat them with some flour and some salt and oil and water. That's about it. <clears throat> that has um, green peppers and onions mixed with the oil, flour and water and salt and such. So between this and this part of the patty, that was the other half, with the leftover flour, water and oil and salt. Pour it over each a little bit at a time, turning it over, turning it over, and okay, obviously I'm just gonna like cut it open for you guys. I wanted to like eat it away myself. It literally came out like this, like, and you have to like keep turning, turning it, um, letting it bake in the pan. Technically, you'd almost call it a pan pie, but um, yeah turns into kind of a pan pie burger almost so that's the mince in between then there's the green peppers and the onion and then the flour eggs oil and water and salt around it looking kind of like a burger pan pie fat cook if you will <laughs> all right so yeah honestly just had to show you that one uh yeah that's about it for now and if you ever do get uh, the chance to try it out, I really do understand that the spices will really help a lot for people who like lots and lots of flavors. Chili is obviously great as well. And I got some over there. Also, cool guys. Oh yes, of course, because of the homemade Nando's chicken and puff pastry chicken videos that have been there for some years. I would have loved by now to have done like a strictly cooking blog, but it will just build up as time goes specifically what can you say list of and using using things that you probably wouldn't usually think would be usable so at a point in time i think it's better to just like let it grow in that way it should come out for myself obviously even the ones that they do are normal i noticed when you have a recipe list it's not like it's a rule or anything there's a, a problem with some people sometimes i mean i'm probably not exaggerating anything at all by saying somebody who was thinking of pancakes is the one who got the idea for fat cooks which is very very obvious but just obviously breaking the rules of course anyway peace out catch y'all later of liberty is always the best rule if you want to call it a rule breaking rule but liberty is very understandable in the freedom and actually uh, understanding how all things god made are good so blessings always